Doy ahora la palabra al señor Khaled Kiari. Mr. President, members of the Security Council, overnight the Russian Federation Armed Forces carried out a massive aerial attack on Ukraine, reportedly launching 158 missiles and drones in several waves targeting locations across the country, including in Kyiv, Lviv, Kharkiv, Khmelnytsky, Dnipropetrovsk, Sumy, Cherkasy, Odessa, and Saporizhia regions of Ukraine. Preliminary reports indicate that at least 30 civilians were killed and at least 160 injured. The strikes constituted some of the largest aerial assaults since the Russian Federation's full-scale invasion in February 2022, launched in violation of UN Charter and international law. According to the Office of the High Commission for Human Rights, the latest attacks resulted in extensive damage to a wide range of civilian infrastructure, including residential buildings, maternity hospitals, schools, kindergartens, parks, a metro station, and a shopping mall, as well as energy infrastructure. Electricity was cut in several regions following damage to transmission lines. Rescue groups are still searching for people trapped under the rubble of residential buildings. Mr. President, regrettably, today's appalling assaults were only the latest in series of escalating attacks by the Russian Federation. Since DPPA last briefed the Council on 6 December, we have continued to see daily reports of attacks on Ukrainian cities and towns, including on critical civilian and energy infrastructure, with many resulting civilian casualties. During the Christmas period alone, Attacks on the city of Kherson reportedly killed several people and wounded many others. Apartment buildings and the medical facility, as well as the railway station packed with more than 100 civilians awaiting evacuation, were struck. Similarly, almost daily shelling has been reported across part of the Kharkiv region. According to OHCHR in 2023, the war in Ukraine claimed the lives of 1,888 civilians and left 6,334 others injured, resulting in 8,222 civilian casualties. This brings the total of civilian casualties to 29,113 since the Russian Federation's full-scale invasion of Ukraine in February 2022. The actual figures are likely considerably higher. The Secretary General unequivocally condemns in the strongest possible terms today's appalling attacks on cities and towns across Ukraine. Attacks against civilian and civilian infrastructure violate international humanitarian law, are unacceptable and must stop immediately. Mr. President, tragically 2023 is ending as it began with devastating violence against the people of Ukraine. Once again, Ukrainians are forced to spend holidays seeking shelter, clearing the rubble and burying the dead amidst freezing temperatures. As we look to the new year in the hope of avoiding further escalation, we recall the Secretary General's appeal to all concerned to do their part to help lay the foundation for sustainable peace in Ukraine in accordance with the UN Charter, international law and resolution of the General Assembly. Thank you. Agradezco al señor Chiari por la información que ha proporcionado. Doy ahora la palabra a los miembros del Consejo que deseen formular una declaración.